eight hours later, we all died. <laughs> so you're laying there, and you wake up real quick, and it's daytime. Look like this. And uh. Does it go on? Oh, nightmare. <laughs> A wicked looking spear comes across your crossbow, points it down. And Rolo says, Easy, you're all right. And you look over, and him and Leosin are already up, and they're like managing wounds and whatnot. I'll take a deep breath and put my crossbow holster in. Roland, or I should say, is still asleep very, very heavily. And uh, sh look over Luda, lightly breathing, and she seems like she's okay. Probably about nine hours. It's eight hours, so you get the benefit of an eight-hour rest. Which, do I meditate for four, like an elf, or do I? Elves meditate. I'm going to one. No, oh, you're four hours. To, but I'm well, still yeah, going to. You're just past it. Yeah, I'm still going to take the full eight hours. Like you, you're exhausted. exhausted. Yeah. Um. But they, they've made a campfire. Uh, Leosin's went and caught some conies. And just about 40 feet from you is this cave mouth. And uh, he's like, we really didn't want to disturb anybody. He's like, well, we were curious to how we got out here. We dragged you out. We dragged all you out. Oh, you're, you're here to sleep. You shut oh, your shit. mouth. In my dream, I'm like, he backed on me. No, in your, in your dream, you're like, <laughs> you're like Make me your whore. <laughs> get it, boy. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a cougar. I'm a cougar. Uh, you are a cougar. And I'm like, no, it's my turn. I get time. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, don't pay attention to that. Um, they ask you what happened. Also, you guys went down... Ford wanted to go back and look for the little girl, Lencici, or something like that, and he went down, so we let you guys up here, we hit your body while you were unconscious, went down to get Ord, we rescued Ord. Rolling the drops, you left us by ourselves? Me and Ord went by ourselves, and then I told him not to go any further because there was acid coming out of the walls, and he didn't listen, and we waited with you guys. For two hours, he never came back, so we felt the need to go after him. Well, he goes and, uh, it's amazing he's not dead. Oh, well, he would have been if we hadn't went after him. Um, I was sleeping. He, uh, he goes and says, well, I understand the need for wanting to find the child, he's like, but, you know. Well, that was a word. I just... It's not choices. very smart of you guys. It wasn't smart of him, but I couldn't let him go by himself. So, well, what? Why didn't you chase him down when he ran? Because the acid was filling the room. I told him not to go in, and he went in anyway. Oh uh, yeah, you can kind of tell by him talking. You, he's like almost uh, judging you with his eyes, like he's trying to get a grasp of the type of person. I mean, because he's look, giving you a hard look. Um, look over at Roland. Roland's giving you look like, you know, if you, like, because you ran, while he went the other way, you know, it's kind of a little coward. He's looking at you, like, kind of down on you. And he's not very, he's not very approving of your yeah. your choice. And I'll say, listen, I have, I have nothing in this. I was told to come and assist you guys, so I came and I did it. But I don't know you guys anything. None of this is why I'm here. I have one goal in life, and it has nothing to do with this. Um, Nelson kind of pats his hands towards both of you, and I'm assuming you're looking at Rowan. Yeah. And he's like, and what is that? He's very curious. My whole family was killed. And, um, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. He's like, but... Why would that put you here? Because I was with the person that rescued me when I was enslaved, I guess you could say, by the Zentarum at a, 
Have you seen you say the zen? You say the zen? You literally say yeah, that? Yeah, I'm saying that. Who's up about the zentarium? Like Leos and like kind of scoots forward, like he's very curious to what you're saying. Like he really wants to know. And that's when you see Roland kind of perk up at you too. Terry. Yeah, they killed my entire family. Why? Because my father owed money. But I will kill every last one of them. And, uh, or die trying. Roland, uh, you tell he's almost ashamed now of how he looks towards you. Um, he also tells you, uh, like, you know, I'll make you a deal. If uh, you aid me figuring this out, I will help you. I have freed very many people from the grass of the Zentario. He's like, uh, their grasp is far and it reaches very wide. And he's like, you, you cannot walk into almost any city in Faroon without running into one of them. One of them is always there. I know. And he's like, um, he's like, if you help me in this, he's like, I promise you, when it is all over, he's like, I will do everything I can to help aid you. He's like, I, I mean, I'll offer my hand. He'll take your hand. I'll he's like, you. and, uh, he's like, I can even tell you, she'll probably come to. And he points to Luda. He's like, but never leave a man behind again. He's like, we're all in this together. He's like, but I owe you a debt for saving me. He's like, I cannot thank you enough for that. And Roland gives you a good start nod. Me too. Sorry. About that time, you get stirring around and you wake up. Almost like there's something telling you. Yeah. It's time for you to wake up. You wake up and uh, you see this gaze between these three, and you realize you have just missed something important. You just missed out on the fantasy. I'm sorry. To tell you. <laughs> I was sleeping. <laughs> uh, yeah, she rolls around. See, we made it. It's daylight. And uh Roland got a last what else is like Yeah, it's it's a few hours after noon. So your guys are heavy. Uh, he he like he looks at himself because he's the scrawny guy. He's half of he got a last. He's like, I'm I'm sure it wasn't me that waited you down. And he kinda looks at or are you a snore? I assume you're. Uh, I was assuming my curse having nightmares right now. <laughs> yeah, you got to look at him, and neither one of you said you were yeah. take to roll his armor off. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, he's probably the heaviest. You know, he's an elf, but he wears, I think, full plate. Yeah, I think it takes so, all that. Yeah, you guys just think we're taking the armor off. We got it in But, uh, is, but now that you're up, um, thank you for saving our lives. Um, he's like, I, I see the Harper skills I've trained with that uh, come in handy quite a bit during this little uh, adventure. Say, so I got in trouble as many times as I got y'all out of trouble. <laughs> so, well, uh, it's like I say, we wake Ord here up and, uh, and let's head back to Greenus. I kind of stop him and I say, there's a couple things we've seen inside. I think we should check it out before we hit back. Uh, he looks at you oddly, as in... We haven't found the girl. She thinks her violin is there. Well, I said we haven't found the girl. I tell him that there's structures of Tiamat in there, and he knows who that is. Yeah, uh, you see him... I like, kind of eyes look like, yeah. There is a lake full of all kinds of trash with a beast in it. Oh, it's in a lake. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, she also called this a mine. That's right. Yeah, she <laughs> yeah, also called this a mine. It's very true. I say, then there is a tentacle beast deep inside. 
I've never seen nothing like it. That sounds like the grill being to a hit that. We're Orton, Orton fell. We fought two cold balls and this beast ate them. And his tentacles reached probably 30 to 40 feet out of the, out of this deep cave in. It was more than that. So I'm just letting um, you know what I seen. I was like, I don't want to go fight that beast, but at least want to investigate the other spots and let you know that there's something like that down there. He tells you, well then, did you see anything of important in that room? No. And he's like, well, then I'll tell you that that should stay. Actually, it's let it stay, but I'm just letting you know all the stuff we've seen. But the main thing I want to go, I'll, I'll tell him that because I think you mentioned something. Yeah, your violin might be in there. You two want to come back? I'll mention to him that that Luda thinks her violin is in the trash bin. He kind of giggles. He's like, you're just never gonna let that thing go, are you? I said, it's been passed down for ages. I can't let it sit in there if I think it's in there. He's like, well, I can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this violin. He's like, but I will go help you dig through this trash just so you can see that it's in there. There's a beast in there. I told him about the A beast? He kind of looks around each one of you. Just one? One that I think. It's about the size of the blue dragon. Rolling quickly as you say it reminds him and he's like, and you see what it done to us. You see what it done to you and well, Leos was like, let me take it. But I'm not asking you, any of you, to risk your life over her personal possession, though. I reached my hand oh, out for the dwarf. Oh, you're right. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Oh, that is. Or, oh, maybe your wife's there. Don't give me false hope. Was there anything else you've seen along the way that you wanted to check out? And by the way, I think both of you. I said there's also a room we did not check out. Maybe the child is still in there. I'd help you anyway for, for a piece of sentiment, but I'd like to check this she out. She says the number one reason, she's like, my overall goal is to get this child out of here if she's in here. While they're talking, I'm going to be looking at this chest mm-hmm. that I have on oh, the right. lighting mechanism. Um, what was my life worth? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I'm saying this out loud. Does it have a, a, a locking mechanism like, on it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, I will cast my chin and step back as far as I can <laughs> with my with my uh, peace tools and try to open this. All right, uh, give me a dexterity check. I step back and I look and I say, "She learned from me." Cause I got my chin. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! He snatched the key off inside the lock. So now you have a key slip in there. Well, they roll one. <laughs> That's with disadvantage now, right? <laughs> oh no, I'm going to actually increase the uh, check because you're kind of pulling it out. Right. What do you roll for that? Next area check. They roll for oh. 17. That's what I was going to give you. I was increasing it by three. The result was 14. So, yeah, 17. Uh, You see him take some tweezers, some picks. He pulls your broken pick out of there and unlocks it. So, you open it up. Just let the dwarf be down now. Okay. (laughs) Well, I'm trying to pay. (laughs) As a dwarf, you see his eyes sparkle. Oh, shit. Is this a box of photo with my wife in it? <laughs> the first thing you grab is this gold ring with a very well cut sapphire on it. I'm, I'm using my original detect magic. <laughs> none, of this, none of this clothes. Right. Um, there's also a pearl necklace. <laughs> Get him out. Come on. Is that Get him out. Is that Get him out. Get this out. is a hit <laughs> There's a pouch. You grab the pouch, it doesn't jingle, but it's very heavy. And there are six masterfully cut and polished precious stones in here. 
uh, you imagine this, what's in this chest, worth quite a bit. We're all watching you. I found a couple rocks. <laughs> now, roll me a wisdom or intelligence check. Whichever one you prefer. Wisdom it is. Intelligence. 17. 17. Awesome. That's when you guys are pretty much around here. You have seen this ring before, and it belongs to Shane Trobblecobble in Greenness. He died. No, she didn't die. Oh, she, okay. Mm. Her husband did not No, there's a guy looking for her. So she owns a pinch of salt, which is a good store in Greenness. She was missing. But you do realize yeah. that ring looks like it belonged to her. I mean, it is the site is made for a hat. Yeah. Would I assist him in uh, looking at these jewelry? Because I did work at a jewelry place. You would jewelry. really, you might be able to tell everybody exactly what it's worth. That's what I was thinking. Like, I, I, yeah, I, trouble cobbles. I don't know what you're open anymore because I didn't see a brain intelligence. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you definitely know. Um, do you want to do them as a whole or individually? I'm uh, probably the whole, just a uh, okay, little bunker all one. Huh? 12, or 10 plus 2. Uh, oh, no, do I have to... No, it's no, a yeah, it's a 12. Um, you're a little rusty, it's been a while since you've priced some stuff. What are you looking But you're guessing you probably get a good 800 gold yeah. out of all this. Thank you. I used to work as a, like as a whole or yeah. individually. Uh, I want to look at the diamonds. There's no diamonds. Or the, the, the six or seven of them. Okay. Magical cut. Um, that is. Intelligence check. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, you would guess each one of these probably about 100 gold pieces each. Or six of them. All I was looking at it. <laughs> Only the three of us are over here. Two for you. Yeah. Two for you. <laughs> um, Roland makes a joke. Uh, Leosin makes a joke. So much for looking for that violin. Can I buy you with something new? <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Uh, you can keep your ring. Uh, Who's getting the necklace? Um, I just want to ask, will I be able to use those, a pearl from that necklace for my identify spell? Oh. Uh, has to be five. Yeah, it has to be worth a uh, pearl. The pearl has to be worth hundred gold. Hundred gold. Well, this is a string of pearls. Yeah. They're probably not worth a whole so lot. No. Yeah. Right. You would you would think just think of price. I, I just thought I'd ask. Mm -hmm. But that is what your life is worth. <laughs> As you're looking through pouches and these jewels and stuff, Roland's like, "Look, if we're going to find her violin, we need to hurry up. I need to get back to Greece." Give it a little second. And I pull out the pearl necklace and I, I'm using my infused magic ability where I put a spell to an item so someone else can use it. And I put the cure wounds in the necklace. Mm -hmm. and he also, and I toss it to him. And he'll catch it. Use it in a pinch. Okay, so how? Well, he's not a magic user. How? I, I'm making up a simple command word. Mm -hmm. Heal. Yeah. <laughs> say heal. Touch it and say heal. Yeah. Can I use this on someone else? Anyone you want. It's just I noticed. What is it? It's a necklace. Oh, you, I can I can place magics with the items I don't already have it. Oh, okay. So he healed up. Didn't yeah, you're completely healed. You had your eight hours rest. You've been longer than that. Um, but Roland's like urging you guys. Look, okay, I need to hurry up and get back. To uh, Leo, Greece. Road. 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 Oh, so yeah. That was his thing. He wanted to hurry to get back there. I gave you two dollars. Uh, two, two belts. With you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys are going to go in here. All of you guys are going to go with Ludo. Yeah. Okay, so you get to the trash heap. Um, you're all spot around. There's enough of you. You don't see this lizard thing anymore. Somewhere over there in the water. 
Right. You're look you're 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 looking around and you would think that if it was under the water you might have to like open itself a spot up. Because there's crap all in here. Right, but I mean I, I mean I'm sure we know about alligators and stuff like that. Yeah, probably alligators in this world, so they can go underwater for a while. True. And it smells awful down here. You notice uh, everybody, these two, Luda and Vesper, when they go down there, they kind of put these the cloths back over their face and everybody kind of starts doing the same thing because it smells horrible down there. The farther you go in, the worse it gets. Who burned the body? <laughs> so, uh, Roland's going to stay up top, stand guard. Um, Roman perceptions. Boom! That's the one that matters. <laughs> it finally worked. <laughs> you don't see a lizard thing. Okay. You get down there digging around? Yeah. How long? T6 says how many rounds? Two rounds. You you want to do that a Two minutes. Two, Two minutes. minutes. There you go. There you go. You get down there with him? Uh no, I just have my bow dropper. So you're covering, you gotta go down there and leave it the in two minutes, you find your violin. It's, it's right, look, it's right here. <laughs> um, but it needs some repair work done to it. It looks like, <laughs> yeah, well, for, one, for one, it is waterlogged, the strings are busted, yeah. the neck's broke. I mean, it needs some heavy duty repair. I have a spell for that. Okay, what do you do? see it. You see me just like. Now, you know, men takes a while. I thought it was an action cast. I think it says like it takes like a couple minutes to work before that it, it takes a while. So. You see me find it, and then you just see the distress on my face as it's just tore to pieces. We'll get back to town. I'll take care of it. I can fix it up properly. She hands it to you. Just keep it for now in case it. Yeah. Um, Leosin, uh, he's not looking through his stuff. You notice he's looking at the wall, and uh. You see him take his arm and put it within the wall. And you get to look at it and there's a crack and it's kind of hidden in the wall. Not the yay why. He's like, I mm, wonder if this is where your lizard thing went. Uh, and he's looking, he's like, I don't think I could even squeeze through that. I don't want to try. And, uh, and uh, he's like, whoa. You've got this, let's go. It smells it's horrible down here. Yeah. Uh, um, well, I, was, I was wanting to check out the room with the curtain that they mentioned. Okay, that would be to your left. When you come out, yeah, it's on your left. So, yeah, there's this curtain, it's all these furs, and they're draped across this section. You want to go there. Yeah. Okay. Um, Leosin's. But we were coming down here with his violin. Uh, if there's a the chance that the girl was there. Um, yeah, I mean, you're right. We need to check. Roland's like, well, we need to hurry. Like, he's really pushing the envelope that, hey, we need to hurry up. So, uh, he's going to stand up here and he's going to guard this area. I'm going to go. Um, you get there, you pull him aside. They're actually poison, but I'm just kind of trying to speed this up a little. It's a meat locker. This part of the set dungeon gets a little cold. There's dried meat hanging up and whatnot. You met them hunters beforehand. Mm -hmm. Kind of thinking maybe this is what they've done. Is the meat uh, good? Yeah, some of it is good. Uh, it's I mean, it's dried good. out. I mean, like turkey, I guess. Like yeah, the, you can like do that. Sure. Yeah. That's exactly what Leo will do because you got a two day trip. Right, yeah, I'll, I'll grab some. I'll cut, I'll cut off a few pieces, put them on a nice mm -hmm. bag. Do that? Um, yeah, the tights. Uh, <laughs> you guys leave, and uh, Roland's like, we need to go back this way, and he points to the dragon room that you knew was full of acid. Roland wants to go there? Yes. Why does he want to? Why? Like, he, he, he was like, I need proof that, you know, that this dragon thing was here. Leos is going to tell him, we've got all the proof we need. Yeah. And he's like, and he's like I, want, I want proof to show everybody. 
And I mean, I bet it. But you know what's down there, though. Yeah, and I'll tell them I'm not going down there because there's that giant tentacle beast, and there's no reason to go down no. there. And the acid. What yeah. about the medallions that you found? With that little holy symbol on it. Oh, the dragon? Yeah, I got one in my bag. Well, that's not the spook. Uh, you, 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 you ask that, Leo grabs up and he says, This is the holy symbol of, like, the holy symbol of TMA. Yeah, that's all the proof that you need. Yeah, you can have it for 70 gold. Is that TMA? Leo says, He's. You can just show it off for me. You can just show it off for me. And then if someone else wants it, you, they'll pay 70 gold. They would have more than their uh, little den that's on the way out. So what? The there was more in the den on the way out. Oh, den. I think it's a dinner. I was like, what den? It's not delicious. The, whether it was steep or not. But we found that one. Oh. Yeah, that's not on your way out. That's, yeah, that's way that's, back. That's actually okay. Stinky room. Oh, never mind. Wrong direction. Stinky room. Yeah, when you I go to Stinky room, you make a left, you made a right to go to the steam yeah. locker. Yeah, we're almost in the opening kind of thing. Right? Okay, someone's going to have to really try to talk him out of this, because I know this is what he really wanted. And I mean, you need to give me uh, some so I, I hand stuff. him one of the gems. You're handing him gems? I hand you one of the gems. Me? Yeah. Um, I'm going to need persuasion okay. for the... The yeah, I'll take the gem. Yeah. I hand them the amulet. I gave him one of the old gems out of the chest. And here's Roland. I Just gave him the gem for the amulet. I handed Roland the amulet. I'm going to go ahead and keep that chest too because it's got kind of other pearl inlay and all that. It's, it's, not bad. it's really nice chest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it may not be what you want to, but it's, it's not. That's what I'm saying. You're going to have to persuade him. I know he's not here, and that sucks. But I'll be very bent on going down there. About 16. You might want to try to 80. Um, Grow persuasion of yourself. Yeah. 8 to 10 hey, better. I'm just telling you, I'm not going. <laughs> you also <laughs> have the master's yeah. weapon, if that would also suffice. That's what I'm using, saying for yeah. persuasion. Okay, so he's got it. He's giving you an aid. So that could be with some advantage. Uh, I'm going to roll you another one. I'll, I'll give me. Yeah. What do you got? That was the night four. Okay, we'll roll one more time. He's gonna give you another roll. Yeah, that's twenty. So, okay, there you go. That's what you Um, you hang the dial, and you're like, you've got a spear. The man, he sits there, and he mulls it over his head, and he's like, "All right, all right, that that that'll work." And uh, you talk him into going down there. Not going down there. Not, down, yeah, not going down there. With uh, the proof that you've given him, the fact that he's going to have to go through, you know, where the acid was that you went through. I mean, yeah, you you've talked him out of it. And the beast thing, you know. Yeah. You know, you know, there's this thing down there, and you guys don't want to tangle with it. So you've talked him out of it. Um. You guys done here? Is there anything you want to do while you're still in here, or are you leaving? I can't think of any more. I'm ready to leave. Yeah. Okay. So, Lauren looks absolutely heartbroken at this point. So, uh, what? Well, you can't find her. You know, you can't. You've searched every inch of this place, and you cannot find anybody. Not just her. There are still yeah. people missing, but that's a promise you made, and now you've got to go back and face it. So, you guys are done here. You've got, you've got your proof. I mean, you three have seen this massive statue of Tiamat, which everybody did. That's where I fought the fight took place. So you're going to leave this place, right? Okay. It's a two-day trip back to Greenest. Uh, if there's any type of conversation you guys don't need to have with each other or anything, you can go right ahead. Messy on the violin. One more. Make there are rest. Okay, you're going to recommend it. I cast Mindy on the violin. It looks like it starts fixing itself. You ever seen Christine? The car, the car, the car movie by yeah. Stephen King, John Carpenter. I don't think so. It repairs itself, and it like the bumpers pop out, tires, they are, uh, yeah. the paint job fixes itself. That's kind of what you're watching. Think if you beat something yeah. on a hill and then you watched it in reverse. So that's kind of what you're looking at. 
her eyes light up as she goes to get her violin and gives her word a hug. Thank you. Oh, it is. Huh? Play tune with it? You'll play yeah. it in the <laughs> It's like it was never broke. Okay. Top of the right spirit. There you go, man. You have no reason to be happy. Yeah. I mean, maybe you're riding through, but it's kind of dead right now. I mean, yeah. you can't find this girl. You found a ring of someone that you knew that was missing. I mean, you, you, you've got something important here, but you're coming away really empty handed once you face everybody, you know, in the greenest. So it's kind of a big deal. Uh, two days, we get on the greenest. Um, you see greenest out in the distance, and uh, as you get closer, you notice there's literally men posted, like there's almost a defensive perimeter of armored guys. And as soon as you can see them, they can see you guys. And one of, uh, of them yells, Halt! Do not come any further! And I mean, he's yelling at you. And a group of him and two men for each one of you approaches. I hope no, no weapons are getting run, just drop them on the ground, hands up. I'm not dropping weapons, I'm just... He also, he also throws his hands up. I mean, I'll put my hands up a bit, but still, where if shit's going down, I can Leo's drop weapons. <laughs> he's, he's telling you, drop that. No. I mean, no. I, don't, I don't have any weapons in hand. Mm. Got my hands up. Uh, that same thing? Yeah. I mean, everybody kind of puts their hands up and whatnot. Uh, this is... A human male walks up to you. He's pretty young. Uh, like I said, with him comes a well-armored soldier. There's two of them for each one of you, so you're outnumbered, literally. Eleven to five. And, uh... They've got swords, crossbows, everything drawn. Uh, state your business for, for like, state your business for coming to Greenest. And like, he looks serious. I live here. The name's Watama. We had went to chase after the group that attacked. Uh, Try to find survivors. We couldn't find anybody. They had left. And what you lay else is like, we speak the truth, you know. And uh, he's like, we've, we've been hoping you guys would return. Uh, he, he points over to Roland, and uh, he's, you've got friends that are very worried about you. Um, he's like, come, you know, we've been expecting you guys. They're saying that to Roland? No, they're telling all you guys that. No, well, they, they know Roland. So no, 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 no. They, right. they notice what his, he's got a pin off torn on. I was gonna talk them up. <laughs> and, uh, they they escort you back to Greenest. When you get back to Greenest, there's a lot of repair going on. Buildings being worked on. Uh, if you're going on the side where the river's at, the church where where it burnt. No one's really worked on the church yet. Um, everybody's main focus is to get their own homes fixed and buildings that really mean a lot to the town. Um, and everybody's busy. There's still farmers bringing in crops, you know, doing what they can to keep their tray up. Um, like I said, as you approach, literally you would think there's 50 men just posted on this whole side of greenness. And they're all just spread out, keeping, keeping watch. Um, as you get towards greenness, you get to the keep, there's men, armored men, everywhere throughout greenness. And then when you get in, you realize some of these men are suited different than the men that brought you in. Um, the guys that are here that are escorting you, you would know them as the Shield of Erebor, which is your neighboring town. Um, the other ones you would know, you would know because it's from your home, these are the Blades of the Veil. Vale. They're from Burtis. This is part of their army. Blades of the Veil. Blades of the Veil. Vale. And uh, literally, they're all grouped in small patrols. Is literally patrolling the streets of Greenest. Like you've lived here for a couple months now, Ward, and you realize that 
You've never known this many guards to be here. I thought that they seemed to have many guards at all. Yeah. Ten now years. they are everywhere. Um. They escort you in. Uh, tells you, um, we'll let Governor Knight he'll know that you're here. Um, he's going to want to meet with you guys soon. Um, go ahead, do what you need to do. I will personally come find every one of you. Uh, where are you going to be? Lee Olsen says he's going straight to Night Hill. He's like, um, you guys need to take a break. Anybody you need to see, you just open it. I don't remember you ever telling me the CC's mother's name. Uh, yeah, I did. I had it. That, it's, a uh, Lennon and Cuth Swift. That are her parents. I think that's where you're going? Yes, was they need to hear from me and nothing else. Okay, Roland is going to go find um, Darborn and Alethra, his fellow soldiers from the Order. Luda, what are you doing? Uh, is this what we text you during the off time? No, uh, well, we were getting there. I'm just, I oh, mean, okay. if you want to start doing that, you can. Yeah, so you go to the... Uh, <coughs> This is where all this is going to start taking place. Anyway. Yeah, and uh, look for any injured people, anybody she could help, and uh, then she's going to start studying up. Since well, things have changed since I found out there, have uh, Tiamat is involved. Yeah. I'm going to start finding everything I can out that I don't know already about Tiamat. You, there will be nothing in here in this town that will help you. Not looking at what it does, like how many times that shit has come up with like cults and. You know, armies. And there is literally no yeah. place in okay. there. I'm just like, you know, right okay. now that you can find. This is yeah. a little bit. Yeah, that's what army village. Yeah. Okay, that's for about you. Um, I will. Is there any kind of place like a, uh, I guess, like a Pony Express system or something where. You can send a runner. Or yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, I'll write out a letter um, in Halfland. And uh, let uh, Grinko know that I'm firing. And uh, would you just call him Grinko? Grinko. Is it Grinko? Grinko. I was going to Grinko. 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 But I think Grinko is. I know. You said Grinko. I thought you said Grinko. No. no. <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let Osborne know that I'm alright. And that uh, I'll be around sometime whenever I get a chance. But uh, with that, we're the villains, man. This has been session four. The Ancient War Reborn, uh, I'm your DM, JVD. I'm Evan the Great. Gary Wonder. Smiley. Hopefully next time Wes will be here. Um, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube where you're hopefully watching this, and uh, we'll catch you next time. And Wes is on her. <laughs> Rock <Rocking. laughs>